Well, I mean, they both have base and height, because both of them have big B times H. But so what does the pyramid have? The rectangular pyramid has uh, base times height. Over or one third. So that's that's the only difference. They both have big B times H, but the pyramid has one third. Okay. So this is kind of to prove that formula. So the demonstration we're going to do is we're going to prove that. So this should be one third of the volume of this. Okay. So the numbers up there, sometimes, again, you guys see those formulas and they don't mean anything. But we're going to show you that one-third of this. So you will take the pyramid, you will multiply by three, and it will fill this up perfectly. Okay? I'm going to need a couple people to help. Uh, Gerald, let me get you to help. And Demontre, I need you to help. Okay. Demontre, you're going to hold this. You're going to be the part. Okay. What I need you to do, I need you to hold it because this is kind of wobbly. I need you to hold it so that top part is going to be as flat as possible. Okay. Hold it down here so that way you can dump it in. Okay. And then you're going to dump that water. Fill this up as close as you can, but go slow so it doesn't overspill. Or won't spill. And then once you start getting towards the top, slow it down. <laughs> We don't need to go all the way to the top, but get really, really close. Get a little bit more. All right, stop like that. Okay. Not the mantra. Try not to mess my room up too much. Okay. Excellent by me. I'm going to do it the first time, you can do it the second time. Okay. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take this from the pyramid, and we're going to put it in the prism. look like it filled up? One third. About one third. Okay, it's a little bit less than half. Half would be about here. So we got about a third of the way filled up. Okay, so we're going to fill up the pyramid again. All right, fill it up a second now. Now we've done a two. Now about how much it looked like we got filled up? One third. One, 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 two thirds. About two thirds. Okay, again, we're a little bit above half. Half would be here. We're about two thirds of the way there. So we're going to do it for one third time. Okay, now there's only a little bit of space in there because we didn't fill it up every single time. But if we take three of those and dump it in there, what happened? It filled it up, up all the way. Now notice the differences of these shapes, or the similarities of these shapes. My base is the exact same. What about my height? What is my height of the prism versus the pyramid? Are they the same? No. If I take my hand, they're the exact same height. Now the height is not this slant length. The height is actually from the top, the bottom to the top. Because if I measure the slant length, is that the same? No. No. So if I have to lay, lay them flat, so they're both flat on the ground, they have the exact same height. Okay. So if we go to the formulas, 
Big B is the same in both of them. Whether it's a prism or a pyramid, Big B is the exact same because they're both the same exact shape. The height is the exact same for both of them. The only difference is that one third. That one third, the pyramid is one third of the volume of that prism. So we took three of those pyramids, we dumped them into that prism, and it ended up filling it up exactly perfect. Now that only happens if you have the exact same base and the exact same height. If I change the base and I change the height, then it doesn't work out that way. Okay? This is a rectangular prism too, right? Yes. Is my base the same as this blue one? No. Oh, it's a lot smaller. So if I did three of these and put it into here, what would happen? It would overflow. It would overflow. So my base isn't the same, so that doesn't work. Okay, the bases have to be the same, and the height's gotta be the same. Because if they're not, then it doesn't work. Okay, but this is again just to prove to you guys where this formula is coming from. Because again, when you guys see those formulas, sometimes they might not make sense. You don't know where these guys are creating these formulas from. But that's where that formula is coming from. That's why a pyramid is one third of the volume of this. Questions?